I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design. This is my journal of what's happening right now in my world as a creator, an entrepreneur, a partner, and a mom. And I'm sharing it with you. So let's go. Today is another chapter in my design life. It's site check day, and this is so exciting. All of the doors and windows are in. I am standing in the living room. Honestly, this is just such a game changer. I cannot believe the difference of removing those ladder bars that were at the top of the doors and windows. The views just seem so much better than they ever were, and quite honestly, we got lucky with the install. The guys were able to peel off all of the original trim. Not one piece broke. They were able to reinstall it. So that is awesome. But our big challenge right now is deciding what to do with the walls. So what you can see is that the new windows are clear pine. When we originally did the cottage, we did a whitewash stain on here. And I know you guys love the whitewash stain because it has been one of the most popular articles on my website for the past five years. The question is, what do we do now? Because as the boards behind have darkened, some of the finish is looking kind of streaky. And a lot of people who've come in and seen this fresh have said, oh, looks kind of dated. Are we painting this out? So we have a big decision to make right now, and that is, what do we do? Do we decide to just take all of the walls and make them a solid paint? Or do we try to stay with the sort of whitewashed effect? So what do you think we do? Keep the ceiling as is and paint the walls? Or try and keep everything whitewashed? I need you guys to tell me which one you think we should do because this is probably one of the biggest challenges facing me right now. One of the things I love about building is there's always something new to learn. And so the new product that I've just been introduced to by our window installer is called Versatex. And it is a solid PVC trim board. And it comes in sheet good format, just like MDF or plywood, and they can cut it to any size they need. So if you look up there on the dormer, you can see it's all fully trimmed up. And yes, it's white. It's not gonna stay white, it can be painted any color. Apparently, I'm told that the advantage over wood is that it doesn't retain any moisture, so you can get better adhesion with the paint and it's going to last longer. Since all the rest of our trim rotted after 10 years, we are willing to try anything. And one of the challenges we have is that in a lot of places we need trim that is wider than a normal window trim would be. So the fact that it's available in sheet goods means that they can cut it to suit exactly the size we need. So that's kind of exciting. So our install of doors and windows is going swimmingly well. The building of the decks is going amazing. But you know what's not going so well? This. This was our screen porch. And our easy peasy smart idea was that we would just replace all the screens with doors and windows. We have all the doors and windows here on site. And why are they not installed, you ask? Because. The whole roof is rotted. So now what we've decided is we never use the roof deck. We don't want the hassle of a flat roof. So now we have to apply for a permit to build a peaked roof right here. Bad news. We've wasted time. We've lost time. And the project just got more expensive. So that's too bad. But Good news is, it'll end up matching what we have at the south end, which, in the grand scheme of life, is not gonna be a bad thing. I'm gonna love it 10 times more, I'm sure. It now means I can have a really nice light fixture hanging in the room, and I think the room will feel taller, and it'll feel awesome. So, we tried to do the money-saving route, we tried to work with what we've got, but the reality of it is we are so exposed out here that sometimes there's just no choice. So, onward we go. Well, the crew's been busy working on all the gritty parts. I have to start thinking ahead about what's happening next. So, I've started doing a little bit of shopping. I found this pair of lamps. Check them out. Vintage leaf lamps, $175. The pair. 
The other thing is I am trying to decide on new dining chairs. And if you watched along from the very beginning, you will remember that way, way back, I had blue painted banker's chairs, I had upholstered chairs at the head of the table, and then I had a bench. And that was all awesome, but you know what happened? We ended up always being too many people to fit at the table. And so I had a bigger table made last summer, and I really love it. Chris, our carpenter, made it for us. I stained it. The base of it is made with some leftover barn pieces from our Sarah Off the Grid project. And now I'm looking at chairs. So today I'm testing this chair. What do you think? This chair, let me tell you a story about this chair. This is my Nick chair. And I tend to name my custom furniture after my clients. Believe it or not, I designed this chair 21 years ago for my client, Nick. Now, some of you will know who my client Nick was. Nick Manoilovich, the host of Savoir Fair, who I worked for behind the scenes back in the 90s when I was starting out in television. That is a long time ago. And I've always loved this chair because it's really comfortable. It's got a nice wide seat. It's got a curved back. What I'm thinking is I'm going to upholster these in leather so that they're super durable and wipeable or maybe vinyl. Maybe I go with vinyl, something that won't be a problem with wet bathing suits or messy visiting kids, and then put a nice fabric on the back. What do you think? Like them? I think I do. I know some of you are probably feeling this is a little bit alarming to see change in this cottage, but I want you to remember, repeat after me, change is good. We are thinking about the future, and the future is only going to involve more people at my table because it's good to open your doors and have friends over. I have that feeling now that maybe summer is just around the corner, but the heat is on because we really want to be able to enjoy this for summer. So follow along. I'm going to have new updates for you every single week. I want you to follow along because guess what's going to happen next? We well, have to wait and find out. <laughs>